Hey everybody, this is Greg from Mineral Springs Tilapia. Well, it rained like crazy last night and half the morning, and then uh, mid morning, sometime maybe 10 10 30, slowed down enough where we could get started on the outside walls of the new hatchery. And as you can see, we've got them up. I've got to finish the door framing, uh, which won't take too long. And then we, uh, I have to put a jack plate in the top where the door is going to go. And then in the back back there, I don't know if you can see it very well, um, we've got to, uh, I've got to cut out a couple spots for windows. That's the only place that's going to have windows is on the back side of the building. Everything's square, everything's level, everything's plumb, and it's turning out pretty good so far. I got some flashing to do down around the floor where the plates are attached, um, and then I've got to get my joists built for the top. I'm going to go ahead and put the roof on 16 inch center, centered over the studs, and uh, so it'll be nice and strong. and got a lot more lumber to buy uh, but I did get to pick up that that black thing in the middle there that's a big bigger compressor so works my framing hammer very well um, we got some work to do on the inside there was a lot of sand and stuff on the inside there so uh, and dirt and stuff from us stepping out of the mud onto the deck and making a big mess out of everything so I got to get it cleaned up inside a little bit and cut out the uh, bottom plate at the at the uh, door entry so the door fits right when I pick up the door or later this week just gonna have a 3068 door that's all I need I can get the tanks in there fine I am going to connect the bottom edge of this all the way over here to my deck stairs going down so I don't have to walk through the mud anymore and I'll have a step up into the building. It's a little high for me to step up in there with just one leg so you know I gotta do a little work on that but that's coming. Things gonna turn out alright. Uh, it's solid, very solid. I, I could probably park my car up there if I could get it in there now. I can't get it in there now. But anyway, uh, just wanted to keep you updated and show you what I've been doing this morning. Um, I'll get back on it tomorrow. I'm just beat up pretty bad today, so um, I'll get back on it again, like I said, tomorrow. and be no problem. We'll get her done. No sweat. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I actually do have fish here on the property. They're just small ones right now. I'll get in there and do a video about what I've got going out and maybe I'll do a shipping video I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do that um, but I still have fry and fingerlings and some fish for breeder colonies in the other in the, in the other room it's down through this mess it's down in that metal building down there you can just about see the door open on it but we'll uh, we'll get some more going on this pretty soon when I get the joists up uh, and the walls the, the sheeting up I'm gonna put T111 on it uh, for the outside it, it really is just a shed but it's gonna be a very well insulated shed and it will hold my heat and of course I'll have a nice exhaust fan in the back to pull the humidity out of the building because it's gonna stay pretty tight it's gonna be very tight and if we have a problem and stuff hits the fan I've always got to play I'll just move the tanks out and move in there I guess Anyway, guys, have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.